Hi, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. I'm so excited to be bringing this to you again today. Thank you so much for watching my other video and thank you for subscribing. We're on our way to hit 1000. I'm so sure, I'm so super excited that we're going to hit 1000 by the end of the month. Thank you so much for always watching and thank you so much for always leaving your questions and reaching out. So don't forget to subscribe if you're watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and, you know, just leave a follow. So today I'm going to show you how to create search bar in a in a dialogue. How to create a search bar and search stuff. If you um, what you're seeing on the screen is a pre is a previous tutorial on how to create forms, how to create forms in a dialogue, how to collect data from your user using forms. If you've not seen that tutorial, go ahead and click on the link above, and you'll be able to watch that tutorial immediately. So this is what we want to do. We want to be able to search. We want to be able to search stuff in a dialogue. I'm going to show you my database. Uh, still, I have um, schools. You know, these are database of schools, yes. And then I have database of cities. So each school belongs to a city. So that's it. So I'm going to be searching. I'm going to be searching with the school criteria. That's how I'm going to be searching it. I'm going to be searching it using the school criteria so that as you type, definitely as you type, it comes up. As you type, it comes up. So I'm going to go ahead and just take away this home screen. No, take away this screen. And then I'll just go ahead and I'll add a plus sign and I'll just type search. There's nothing like, like so. So I'm going to type form. Uh, there's nothing like so either. So let's go find a screen. I'm pretty sure there should be some sort of a screen that 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 will help you do that. Um, yeah, search screen. So I'm just gonna say search. So these are screens that have been created by Adalo already. So I'm gonna delete. I'm just gonna delete this. Then um, oh, don't worry. I won't delete it. I'll leave it. Then I'll just simply drag the search from here down here. So this doesn't have to be, this is some kind of group. You can do this yourself. It's just for the sake of being fast. You can actually customize the search bar yourself and make it really, really great. So you don't have to do so many other things. Or we can go ahead and just customize it ourselves. For example, if we want to do this, we'll, we'll, um, we'll look for, we'll create a form field. We'll create a I think that should be around sample, I think so. Uh, let's go find it, form and fit, test input. So we'll put a test input right here. That's how we do it. If we don't want to use a pre-custom template from Adalo, put a search input and then we'll go to our edit style and we can, we can make it round. We can make it round, say like, uh, make it round so you can see it's super round right now and then we'll go still on our edit style we can make it round and then we can give it a we can give it a we can give it a, a, a test color we can give it a butter color you know so since we're dealing with black we give it a butter color that is super black and then you can see the size of the border you can talk the opacity and a whole lot like that and and that's all we have to do here just to tell the user that hey just enter a test to search then we'll go ahead and input a list right here take this and put it here we'll just input a tiny list like so so one thing about about building with Adalo is that if you want your if you want everything your everything on the screen to be well resized you just have to group it so you could group these two together and make it a group you just have to group it. So grouping is one way for you to uh, enable, um, ensure that you have very good placement in your Adalo application. So click on the plus sign. Select. This is going to be a list of schools. Yeah. This is going to be a list of schools, and then we're going to have the we're going to have the title, the subtitle. It, we'll take the subtitle away, right? Like so. Take the subtitle away. Click on the plus sign and say, Hey, we want the subtitle to be the location of the school and then we scroll down we want it to be the current school photo yes the current school photo just like so if there's no image you can put something in there and show a placeholder but we're not going to do so and this is where the magic is what we want to do we want it so that when the user is typing right here 
when the user is typing right here, this should this should be changing based on the input. So I'm go we're going to go to click here and say sort. So we want to be able to we want to be able to filter. That's what we want to be able to do. We want to be able to filter all schools. Add a custom filter. When when the name. So you can say with the name, you can filter with anything you want to filter with. So I'm just going to filter with the name. When the name contains, when the name contains input. So when the name contains this test, then this will filter. That's it. That's all you have to do. When the name contains the test that's written here, the uh, what you have below here will filter immediately. So I'm going to go to my, I'm going to just preview so we see what we're talking about. I'd, um, I would enter my my password. No code. My password is always no code. So, uh, so you can see all the schools that we have here. So we're going to type Ibadan. So you can see what's happening. So it's just featuring by itself. So if we if we if we type Lagos, so you can see it's gonna we're gonna have Lagos. So that's how you create a feature. In Adalo, so you just keep, uh, irrespective of how many you have here, Adalo can easily filter it. But in a situation where you have millions of data, it can be super slow. It can be really slow when you have millions of data. So what I definitely advise you to do is to one split your data into different tables by using different collections and relating these collections, and number two is using an external database. Dalo might not be able to handle so big a collection, so you can use an, an standard database and you can use some API, some search API that can really, really help you search your database immediately. That's way, way faster than what you have here in the Dalo. Because a lot of time you're using shared memory in the Dalo and that's not so good. So if you have millions of data, you, you, should, you, you should consider using a search API to do what you want to do. But if you have like maybe a couple of thousand, I'm pretty sure Dalo can handle it just fine so that's it that's how you will create a search bar in adalo feel free to subscribe to my channel and feel free to check out other video and also recommend it to your friends uh subscribing is good for the for the um for the youtube algorithm and also feel free to comment uh leave your comments leave your questions and i'll definitely do well to answer you thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you thank you